Baby from Rumpelstiltskin at the downtown 7-Eleven, spoken by Ryan Lutz, who played Rumpelstiltskin. You'll shoot your eye out. Like the Dr. Seuss show at the elementary schools, like both times I played as the Grinch because the kids will actually love the, love the Grinch. And my favorite line was this. I must stop this whole thing. What for 53 years? I put up with a knot. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. But how? There's been a lot of lines that have stuck in my head. And I wouldn't say that they're like my favorite line, but they stick in my head. And right now it's the, I'm the shoemaker of Geppersdorf. And it's just been stuck in my head and I cannot get it out. And, but that wouldn't be my favorite line. I don't know what my favorite line would be. Maybe something from um, Miracle on 34th Street. Maybe, um, like, reindeer, also known as caribou, or something like that. Oh, man. Where, like, I was the nerdy elf person, and I got to say fun, nerdy stuff. That was all my favorite. Probably in Radium Girls, when I got to scream at Brock, I was like, every penny, every penny I've sunk into this company for the last seven years is because of you. Because you said it was sure thing, no miss. Why well, work for Vanji Shockey when you can work for ourselves? Remember that one? Take a chance, Charlie. Take a chance. And uh, that was my favorite because whenever I was screaming at Brock, he'd be looking at me, and then I would just notice that his eyebrow was just twitching up and down. It was really funny. My entrance line in You Can't Beat the House, I get to say in a very cranky southern accent, What was you yelling at me? I was trying to tell you. And I just go on for a while. My advice to the underclassmen would be to have fun and find all your friends because in theater you're going to find your people and the best thing is to just learn a bunch of life lessons from your friends and upperclassmen and just to grow because that's what theater is about. Just stick with theater because you can do amazing ways and learn so much through theater and theater has just been a real big impact on my life and I know that uh, just seeing other people just grow up through the system it is just something that you should always do and uh, I would recommend it to anyone and get involved. The, the advice that I have to give is try to audition for as many things as you can because if you don't you're gonna regret it later. I know I have. Advice to underclassmen would probably be to just get involved more at the beginning, even if you're like scared to. Be to continue to take theater classes and just keep going with theater. And try to take a variety of the classes, not just the acting ones, but the stagecraft ones too. Then it would probably be don't be afraid to take leadership positions, like try out for stage managing and take responsibility and stagecraft and stuff like that, no matter what anyone else says. Don't let yourself get discouraged by your insecurities and other people and like just keep doing you and use your confidence to your advantage. Like if you have lots of confidence, use it and like show them that you're confident because then they'll be like, yeah, you're confident, you got this, you're going to do great on stage. Get involved with a lot of stuff. Don't just do one thing. I give advice on classmen by saying that to join theater and don't be afraid to make new friends. Like, push yourself beyond what you think you're capable of, because that's good stuff to do. Any advice is just stick with it, even though sometimes it's stressful and not fun. Just try to make the best out of everything. There it is. And pretty sure that it's like McKenna reverse spirit just floating around and like causing havoc, but yeah, there definitely is a ghost. Where? Is there a ghost in the theater? Yes. <laughs> Did you zoom in on me? Absolutely believe in the theater ghost. The theater ghost is 100% real. I mean, I haven't seen any evidence of him personally, but I definitely believe that there is a theater ghost. Is it, so it's the boy? I think so. Um, about the ghost in the theater, I haven't seen any sort of interaction, heard anything. Interaction with what? 
The ghost. <laughs> My favorite show is actually The Curious Savage. I love The Curious Savage. Even though I wasn't in it, I was um, props manager and I hid the back and I watched the whole show through a crack in the wall. <laughs> the, the typewriter. <laughs> yeah, with the typewriter. We left messages for each other on the typewriter and then I wrote um, like letters from each character to like their parents on the typewriter. I was, yeah, I really liked that show. Uh, my favorite show is probably, um, I'd say Radium Girls, because I really liked the story and how it kind of had like a more serious tone about it. Uh, a lot of the other shows were comedies, which I like, but it was just kind of different to be in a more serious show about like serious issues, so that was pretty cool. It was my freshman year when we did a um, music band musical, because my freshman year, first year moving down here, and the music band is based out of the town I came from, so it was just a little ironic for me. Okay, so my favorite show was Cinderella because it was just so pretty, even though it was awful to do. Grease because I got to learn all the cool dances for that show and it was just really fun. Cinderella. Why? Because, I don't know, I sang the songs with everyone backstage and it was fun and cute. Okay, so my favorite show, I know you guys haven't done this one, but okay. it's Dear Evan Hansen. Should I really check out the playlist because it is on point. I love this. <laughs> Radium Girls, because I got to yell at people a lot, and it was fun to play like angry, but also like not angry sometimes, you know. But then also, I really liked Adam's Family, because it allowed me to be like stupid on stage. Not stupid as in like dumb, but like stupid as in like funny stupid, you know what I'm saying, Amberly? Um, probably. The Adams Family. That was pretty fun. Your show would have to be Treasure Island because that was the first show where I actually had a line on stage and it was an interesting experience. As a sophomore, we did Cinderella and I was one of the waltzer people. And so Backstage, before the waltz, every single time, Ashley Perry, we'd all be like kind of dancing, and Ashley Perry does this weird thing where she like touches her elbows like this, like her shoulders are like weird, and so she'd just be like waltzing and doing this, and it was really funny. I don't know why. Probably say just working with all the uh, people. I mean, every show is different, and I couldn't say that exactly one is like my greatest moment, if that makes sense. Okay, my favorite memory is probably after Cinderella, Corbin Pospisil and I, we all went to IHOP and I sat by him and um, we drank an entire thing of maple syrup in one chug and I almost threw up and it was really funny and that was amazing, even though it was also terrifying, so yeah. We were rehearsing full disclosure and there was a part where Wednesday and Lucas started kind of fighting over the chalice and Lucas kind of gets mad and he's like, you gotta tell your mom, and he slams the chalice. And I hear him slam the chalice. I'm looking at, over at Morgan, and then I hear it hit again. I'm like, that's a little weird. And I look, and I see it rolling, but the bottom was still there. My favorite theater memory was getting pelted with a potato and having bruises for weeks because of it during Christmas Story. That was fun. <laughs> Me and Morgan Chalmers had the Hercules soundtrack playing, and we just danced like so hard in the dressing room and then we had to go warm up and we were both like <sighs> yeah. Treasure Island, Sang gets decapitated, you know, so for, for he has this head that he's supposed to throw on stage to indicate that he's died. Well, he attempted to throw it, but it kind of just you know, it flew a little bit and then it bounced onto the stage in the middle of the performance. It was the best thing because it looked fake as anything. Um, <laughs> for Adam's family, I had the wig and having about 10 people attack my head with a hairbrush, check all those knots out, then having to pick up these clumps of hair from the dressing room floor was definitely interesting. <laughs> Scene. Um, and my favorite <laughs> character change, beat change, uh, my favorite backstage slash dressing room story is Radium Girls when they had pajama party with Mrs. Reader and Catherine. That was Catherine. <laughs> my favorite dressing room story 
is just singing with everyone in the dressing room, which isn't really a story, but it's just cringy and everyone's into it, so it's fun. I'm going to miss just the process with the best people. I don't know, probably about everything, like, Probably it's just like the stress and all the like, yeah, the mistakes that we made that like, you know, people have like make mistakes in rehearsals and to just like improve on them day after day. So like the best thing about theater is just like the, the ending is like the best part about theater. That one moment where you know it's just like everything, all that stress, all the bad things you went through just finally paid off. Um, probably all the musical rehearsals and learning all the dance moves and I will also miss talking to my friends and just meeting upperclassmen and underclassmen both and getting to know them as a person. So I'm gonna miss uh, Levi. Um, I'm just gonna miss the atmosphere we had. I'm gonna miss Miss Ethel. Um, my boy Tristan, I'm gonna miss him. That's what's up. Like, like I'm gonna miss him because it's so different from German's theater class, and so I'm just gonna miss the whole, just how it works. Mm, one thing I'm gonna miss about theater is just being with like my theater family and how much I love all of you guys. Um, I'm going to miss the people in theater and just the community and being able to have people every day to go to and uh, have fun with. I guess what I'll miss the most about theater is probably spending time with my friends at rehearsals every day. Considering I've only been in theater for this year, I've only I've been in choir this year, in the past four years, I'm surely going to miss the, being part of something bigger than myself, really much bigger than myself. We're talking like several people who just changed my life in such a positive way. I can't thank everybody enough for that. My advice to the upper class. Under. <laughs> Under, ah, uh, yeah. It's probably... Can I say people? Who's gonna see all that? Ready? For what? Just that? Isn't that fun? Look at flops. Oh, it hit my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. My advice to up to underclassmen. <laughs> What's my favorite show? Um, uh, <laughs> I'm really good at this. I have to do this with tacos. You're gonna be running. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. <laughs>